welcome to simplified engineering this is video lecture number seven and the topic is thermodynamic properties and state so pro characteristics of a system which describes its physical condition is called properties which means that if you want to describe the physical condition of a system we have to mention something like pressure temperature volume energy and density if you are saying that the pressure of the system is p1 and temperature of the system is t1 and volume is v1 like that we can physically imagine what will be the condition so for example consider a system in which the pressure is 1 kg per centimeter square and the temperature is 100 degrees celsius and another prop when the properties when another value that is pressure is equal to 2 kg per centimeter square and temperature is 200 degrees celsius so when these properties are having some definite value it is called a state of a system so we will be explain this with an example consider a cube a cube having some volume and it is having some amount of gas inside that molecules are moving so we can say that it is having some amount of pressure p1 and the temperature we can measure it using a thermometer and the pressure by using a pressure gauge and we can say that it is having a pressure p1 and temperature t1 and its the volume is v1 and the total energy of the system is e1 so these are the properties and we can when we are specifying some specific value to all these properties it become a state of the system consider another system in which it is a smaller in size it is also a cube which contains gas so it is having some another pressure p2 and temperature t2 and volume v2 and e2 so the first figure shows some state and the seg second figure shows some other state because the properties values are different okay now we can represent the property the state of a system in graph by using properties I am now I am going to draw the one of the properties diagram graph that is on x axis and y axis will be the on x axis we will be writing volume and on y axis we will be writing pressure this graph is called PV diagram so the state is P1 V1 which means that at that state the its pressure is P1 and the volume is V1 we will write the second one it is having a pressure p2 and v2 means that when the pressure is p2 and v2 the the second dot is the state okay to specify the state we need the properties now we can draw some other graph also like pt vt diagram etc so consider another graph which is tv diagram which means that we need to we in order to say uh, specifically mention the state we need the temperature and volume value when the temperature is t1 and the volume is v1 it, the state will be this one and when the temperature is t2 and volume is v2 the state will be this okay now i am going to different types of properties properties are mainly classified into two intensive properties and extensive properties intensive properties as i mentioned name mentioned it is the property values are independent of mass in the system what is mean by that if you are taking some amount of mass from the system the property value remains same F examples are pressure and temperature i will explain this intensive property with an example consider a metallic cube which is heated and it is at 800 degrees celsius and the mass is 50 kilogram now what i am going to do i am cutting the mass into two pieces so what will happen the mass will be split into 25 kg and 25 kg each so mass is reduced to half so what will happen to temperature temperature will be same why because because if you are cutting an 800 degree celsius metallic body the both will have the same temperature even after cutting which means that the temperature is independent of mass I if i am going to cut this uh, second body into three pieces of 10 kg 10 kg and 5 kg each all the three pieces will have the same temperature of 800 degrees celsius which means that the temperature is independent of mass of the system so it is an intensive property now we are going to explain extensive property extensive properties values are dependent upon the mass of the system which means that if you are taking some amount of, amount of mass from the system the property value will change for example volume and energy 
okay consider the same metallic body which is having a mass of 50 kg so its volume is 6 meter cube let us assume it as 6 meter cube now I am taking cut it into two pieces and taking it away so what will happen the mass will be 25 kg and 25 kg each and the volume the volume will also become half and half means each will have volume of 3 meter cube each so when we are taking some amount of mass from the system so that volume of the system decreases which means that that volume property is dependent upon the mass when then again if you are cutting the right cube into three pieces of mass 10 kg 10 kg and 5 kg each, the each will have different volume that is the volume is depending upon the mass of the system that is an extensive property so in this lecture we covered the concept of diff properties and what is mean by property and what is the state of a system and again we classified the properties into two intensive properties and extensive property so this is the end of this lecture in the next lecture we will be explaining the thermodynamic process and cycles so you can subscribe for latest videos thank you